everyone welcome back to my channel it's Momna from Momna's Life <laughs> nice to see you guys I know I've been filming more shorts recently so I haven't really made a full video in a really long time so basically I'm headed to World Spa and I already went this was sometime last week during Memorial Monday and yeah I just want to take you guys with me and show you guys the experience there now overall I just want to say it was a cool experience and just definitely make sure you go on the right day and the right time to avoid any crowds because I have seen other videos where it's a lot more crowded than it was when we went but yeah overall I hope you guys enjoy the video so we woke up really early to get there on time good morning <laughs> are you looking forward to the spa yes. there's a dog <laughs> it's too early right where are we going now on oh, my house why <laughs> Get my swimming trunks. Nice. Early morning vibes. I hope it's slow. And it's Memorial Monday. All right, Dennis, go get your baby trunks. Are you filming for your baby vlog? <laughs> Denny. All right, Dennis, you ready for some spa treatment? All right, guys, we made a stop at Dennis's house, and now we call an Uber to head there. So let's go. All right, guys, the Uber is here. So, to your surprise, this spa is actually located in a very strange location. It's right underneath the F train line and yeah, it doesn't feel luxurious but once you enter the building, there's a completely different vibe. Keep in mind, if you don't bring slippers, you do have to go ahead and purchase some. We pay $25. Once you check in, they give you a bracelet to enter the facilities. The women's locker room is so clean and it has such a great smell in there. You get your own locker that opens with your bracelet, which has the robe that the facility provides you with for your stay. I really love this robe. It has this really cute hoodie that you can actually put over your head. I wish I could keep it after. Ice cream. This is the cold punch? Yeah. Alright, Danny. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Alright, go. <laughs> go. Let's, let's go. Dennis, how was that? That was so cold. That was pretty good. So we're gonna try out this first sauna here. So out of all the saunas here, there were just two that were very hot. You gotta start off your morning with a sauna and a cold bath. We spent about 25 minutes in this sauna and guys, I felt amazing after what was great is that we went so early in the morning that as you guys can see it was just us in the sauna and it was like that the entire time some of the other saunas in this facility are really beautiful like this one but there was this incense smell in here and it smelled so bad back to the cool section this is the snow room and honestly it is pretty cool to look at but there's not much you can do in here and you're not really going to see yourself spend too much time because what are you really going to do standing around with snow? It's not bad, but it's interesting. It's nice and cool in here. This was after the sauna and we were so thirsty. We were actually looking to buy water, but there was no employees around to help us purchase any. Eventually, we were able to get some after looking really long and hard for the employees. I didn't get to film the swimming pool, but let me go ahead and put a clip in just to show you guys. The pool was very spacious, but I didn't really want to swim around, as well as they have an onsen section, which is really relaxing with another swimming pool that's cold. Again, we really had the full facilities to ourselves just because it was so early and not that many people come that early in the morning. And on top of everything else, this was a Monday, so it was really nice. I really recommend going on a weekday and wake up early to get there on time. I definitely want to plan another trip to this location just because it is so close by it's a great getaway especially because if you live in Brooklyn like me 
me, this place is so close that it just feels like a staycation. Aside from the sauna, swimming pool, and ice rooms, there isn't much else on the facilities. They do offer food and drinks, but we did not get it this time. How'd you like it? Also, the shower is very clean. I did keep my slippers on, but I did shower after going in the swimming pool. Also, the bracelet that gives you access to the facility is used to purchase things throughout the facility. So, at the end of the stay, if you want to buzz yourself out with the bracelet, you can't unless you finish paying for whatever you purchased upstairs. Then you're allowed to exit, and yeah, that's it for this trip. Alright guys, that's it. But how'd you like it? <laughs> you don't want to say anything? Relax. <laughs> Mental health day. Honestly, like leaving New York and entering like a getaway, like a spa getaway, not in New York though. It felt like we went where? Where did it feel like you were at? Hawaii. Yeah, not even like Hawaii. I just felt like we were in a luxury hotel. I felt like I was a millionaire. Yeah, I felt, <laughs> felt like you made a lot of money. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty cool, guys. Actually, I would go again if it was just for the early for, morning. Yeah, though. early morning experience. Don't go late because, like, as we left, we noticed more people were coming. And again, today's Memorial Day, and it's a Monday. Yeah. So yeah, I'll definitely go again, though. Definitely. Right? Yeah. For like a sauna? Yeah. If you want to like sweat guys, this sauna is so look, good. If you have COVID, just go to a sauna. You sweat it all up. <laughs> Simple. Ugh, but yeah, it's really bright out and I'll see you guys later. And we stopped by to get some breakfast finally guys. We didn't eat up until now. Coffee. Coffee? Yeah guys, I have a iced Americano. Yeah. Alrighty. So basically... I was gonna vlog it better, but when we went there, it was just harder to vlog in quiet spaces. And some of the rooms, my phone just steamed up a lot because a lot of it was saunas. And I did forget to film the swimming pool area, but basically in the swimming pool area, there's like a ton of space. It's so luxurious. And there's two corners where there's a jacuzzi. Now, just keep in mind the jacuzzi area, if there's a good amount of people in there, it's a little awkward. But yeah, it's still a good experience. I'll definitely go there again, but I would make sure I went early because around the time that we were leaving, so we got there at 9 a.m. and we were we left around 11. And now around 11-ish, that's when I saw more people coming. And I can imagine how many more people came during the afternoon. So yeah, timing is definitely important when you're going to a spa. It doesn't matter where you go, any spa, like you want to avoid the crowd because then I just get disgusted when there's too many people in a pool. I don't know, I just picture like a pee. It's just, you don't know. Anyway, <laughs> definitely just time yourself correctly, guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I am going to try to make more lengthy videos again because I do enjoy it more. But shorts are definitely a good time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.